Hi, you guys. I'm Lainey Dolphin, a dream analyst from Montreal. I was watching Ryan and Kelly and heard them discussing their dreams. And I find myself wanting to join in on that conversation. I always have to begin by saying that the dream is the conversation you are having with yourself about a current issue you are attempting to problem solve. And the amazing news I have is the solution is presented inside the dream. That said, Kelly, I often talk about how our dreams provide us with a place to practice, to rehearse a behavior or a response to a given situation in the safety of the dream. It's your unconscious mind giving you a workout, literally. If the dream provides an over situation, like your catastrophic dreams, for example, that's a picture of your healthy unconscious mind desensitizing you. So when you face whatever event has been stressing you in waking life, you're prepared for it because you already figuratively worked that muscle in your sleep. You were saying that the plot and feelings in your dreams more recently switched to stories of your children being in harm's way. And you're in touch with your powerlessness, or as you said it, your helplessness. I would offer this is the same function of rehearsal at work here. But now, instead of building the stress muscle by creating catastrophic situations, here you are exercising your helplessness. And having dreams like this better prepares you to function in the face of this powerlessness that we're all facing with the virus. I call it been there, done that. I've been practicing it so much in my dreams that by the time the helplessness appears in the day, you handle it no problem. Before I move to Ryan, I should add that my projection for you, Kelly, if this was my dream, I might create a dream such as this if I've been holding my feelings in. I'll dream about my children or grandchildren in harm's way, and it works out to be just the thing I needed to push me to express my feelings. Alfred Adler would have said, the dream gives rise to an emotion that helps the dreamer move forward, and in this case, the motion forward is for me to express how I'm feeling in my current waking life situation. Here's what I have to say to Ryan. You're under the impression that because you watch more TV news late at night, that that's the reason you dream about the virus. What you're actually describing is how symbols may initially arrive in the dream. But I propose that we will not use an image from the news because it's from the news. We will use an image because it happens to fit exactly and precisely what we are trying to say to ourselves in the conversation that is the dream. So I know it sounds as if it's literal and given our circumstances, it could be literal. But after 48 years at this, I would still be investigating why my very sophisticated unconscious mind chose the virus as a way for me to say something to myself. And if it was my dream, I would start by asking myself what the first thing that comes to mind when I think of the virus. I would also be looking at the plot or any characters in the dream. And the reason I'm saying this is because our dreams are offering us the best help and advice we can get from anywhere. It's all coming from you and who better to trust than yourself. So for those of you out there who don't know me, you can find me at haveagreatdream.com. Have a great day.